I think he better be. He'd be ashamed to have to waste the boy. He's, he's not here. Man, he said he'd be here. He's late, man. What do you think of me? Don't mean nothing. He's late, that's all. I got a bad thing, but... Shut up. Put that thing away. Shit. Here he comes. Got somebody with him. You say another word, I'm gonna rip your face off. You got it? Of course I got it. What do you think we are, little league? What's the matter with him? Bed bugs. You wanna talk or do business? I don't want to do nothing until I see his hand. Where do you find these guys? Want ads. Come on, let's go. All right, let me see what you got. When I see what you got. Lively crowd for a Thursday. Nice entrance, George. Have you seen Sydney this morning? No, sir. Why are you asking me? I'm just asking. I'm usually here by now. Excuse me. Hello back there. Professor to students. Come in, students. Hey, what's so interesting? Heard the latest about the paint prankster, Dr. H? No. You heard the latest on chapter six? He killed some guys last night. The prankster? 
I, I thought he just went around uh, throwing paint on evildoers or something. Yeah, that's right. But last night the cops found these dope Yeah, but one of them had paint on his face. It was this big shootout. Five guys got killed. And the prankster did this? Well, n nobody knows for sure. Well, he had paint on his face. And we have a class to conduct. What do you say? Come in. What do you got for me? Parking ticket, a couple of grade changes. Oh, yeah, Rick Jackson. He wants out of the Columbia Record Club. It's a tough one. Can you do it? I mean, will you? Well, it's going to cost more than a simple grade change. What's the matter? You seem more pathetic than usual. Look, we provide a service for students. They get in a jam, and for a small fee, we help them out. What's wrong with that? Nothing, I guess. I, I just think it's getting out of hand. Well, relax. They'll never catch us. Hey, Sydney, close the door. Sydney, I've been looking for you. I gotta get the class. But I gotta talk to you. Later. Now. I hear you computer guys can help me with my accounting class. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. I got this real <laughs> good feeling you're gonna help me. Now, you don't mean to flunk my accounting class, do you? No. I know a friendly guy when I see one. Know what I mean? You're a friendly guy. Can't you think of something a bit more constructive to do? I can think of a couple of things. I didn't know they made computer nerds that look like you. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Not so fast. What's your name? Um, I really have things to do. Hmm. Me too. I've got an accounting class I gotta fix. I've never taken accounting. I don't need a tutor. I need a computer. <laughs> I've really gotta go. Hey, you do a little something for me, and I'll do a little something for you. Know what I mean? See ya. What's the matter with you? I've got problems. Big problems. Every jerk off on campus knows about us. Stop worrying. I swear, between you and Sydney, you'd think the FBI was hiding behind every computer. Listen, I just saw some guy giving Sydney a hard time about getting one of his grades changed. Who was it? I've never seen him before. That's what bothers me. Don't worry about it, Teresa. I'm taking care of everything. The remote terminal units, or RTUs, are connected to the master or host unit by what we call an interface. Interface. We didn't wake you, did we? All right, where were we? Interface. The interface is the computer's link to the outside world. The modem translates the electronic message from one terminal to another. It does this by modulating the signal at one end of the transmission and demodulating it at the other. Huh? And what this really means is that the right person with the right equipment and, of course, the right access codes can find out 
anything. Think of the possibilities. <clears throat> it's uh, time to go. Thank you, Randolph. Wait a second, wait a second. No homework for Tuesday. But ah. be familiar with chapters 9, 12, 14, and 16. Ah. Have a good weekend. Who's he kidding? What an asshole. Enjoy your weekend, Dr. Hobson. Amy, I can't make it, so just shut up. Yeah, it's another computer club meeting. Yeah, she'll be there, so what? <laughs> shut up, Amy, just shut up. Bobby. See me in my office. Why aren't these graded? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to hand these back tomorrow morning. Sorry. What's the matter with you, Bobby? I can't seem to depend on you for anything anymore. Well, I've just been so busy. Well, now I'm sorry, but I have to have these tomorrow morning, understand? Yeah. Hey, Bobby, forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Hobson, see me in my office right now. Uh. I just want to know what the hell's going on around here. You and everyone else. I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. I, I'm not sure what you mean, sir. I mean all these damn pranks. It was moderately humorous when somebody scrambled up my password and I lost access to the system for a couple of weeks. And then somebody erased my personnel file and I didn't get my paycheck for about a month. I could see the demented humor in that. But. When $7,000 was missing from the departmental budget and I lost my parking pass. I really have no idea, sir. Vince, my office, now. Yes, sir.
Bambi. Bambi, over here. I'm glad you were available. Rem remember me? Hey, I know you. You got your own show. You might say that. Can you hear me? Of course I can. Can, uh, can you see me? Of course. Say, why don't you get comfortable? I am comfortable. Thanks. No, I'm... Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's... That's right. Why don't you come a little closer? C come on, it'll be fun. Enjoying yourself? <sighs> oh, well, this um, certainly isn't the usual. I'm sure it isn't, but then I'm not your usual job. In fact, I've made something for just tonight for you. Come on, kiss, kiss me goodbye. <sighs> this is crazy. What do you mean, goodbye? Seems like that's the only time I can get any work done. Well, with having to teach the freshman classes and a wife who doesn't understand how long it takes to develop a, a really good program. Or grade a few exams. Huh? Oh, yeah, the exams. Tomorrow, Bobby. I have to have them tomorrow. So how's your homework coming? That's it? Uh, yeah, part of it. You mind if I take a look? Well, I'd rather you didn't. It still needs some work. Lots of work. There's so many distractions. Uh, it comes from being alive, huh? Nothing you can do about that. No, I guess there isn't. Well, I need to get back to it. Yeah, me too. Uh, Bobby, I want those exams first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what happened. It was an accident. An accident, but Manborn told me silence. I made my play, just like always, but then I'm sorry. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? I know that's not enough. What are you talking about? It was a great idea. But, but people were killed. Yeah, it was exciting, wasn't it? It was sickening. You coward. You womanly coward. You cannot see what you have given us. saying, man born, that we should kill? Not randomly, not without purpose, but yes, we should kill. There are people in our society who do more harm than good, but nothing is done about them. We have that information at our disposal. We can know these people as well as they know themselves. And I say we are wrong if we do not do something about them. Zardon, I beg you, you must end it here. You ask me to end what you have begun? Must I remind you that it was you who started this whole affair? I am interested in what Manborn has to say. How long will we hide behind our curtain of fantasy? How long will we pretend to fight evil? It is not our privilege. It is our duty to fight the forces of evil, which infest the very roots of our parent society. Yes, Manborn. Your words are strong, Manborn. But your thoughts 
are weak. You know a lot about weakness, Lepius. Let me determine strength. I say to you, Bodum, Eatron, Manborn, Zordon, let the master process decide it is the source of our strength. You are correct. The master process will see my logic. We agree then that the decision lies with the master process. The arguments have been entered. Let the master process decide. Repulse of immense successful encounter requires that opponents be rendered incapable of perpetuating evil. Hobson? I'm Rex Hobson. Doctor sounds so uh, clinical. Cute. My name is Amy Witherspoon. My husband was in your... Witherspoon? Bobby Witherspoon? Of course. I just heard. Let me offer my condolences. I don't need your condolences. I need some answers. Anything I can do. Bobby was... Bobby was a bastard. But I'm not here to talk about that. I want to know about this computer club you're running here. Don't screw around with me. I'm not in a real patient mood. We don't have a computer club in this school. Don't play stupid with me, Hobson. I'm not playing. Bobby spent all his free time with your damn computer club. That's why I threw him... Look. I don't know what you're up to, and I don't know why you killed Bobby, but I am not going to take the fall for a bunch of wimpy little computer nerds like you. I didn't kill Bobby. Is this a false ceiling? I don't know. Give I... me a hand. You alone? Not if we count you. For laughs. Tough audience. Stuart Bowley, homicide. Did you see a young lady come by here? Well, through here would be more accurate. Uh, what's going on? Why don't you tell me? Well, probably because I don't know. Uh, did you know who she was? I know. That is, I knew her husband. Uh, what else did she tell you? 
No. Not much. Nothing that made any sense anyway. Uh, you know you got it pretty soft here, haven't you? Rex Hobson, Ph.D. Uh, yeah, well, it's all right, I guess. Yeah, be ashamed to throw all that away on a little piece, you know? What, what are you saying? Oh, nothing. It's just if you're smart, you play on my team. Okay, coach. What game are we playing? Oh, it's a popular game. It's called Murder One. Murder? What murder? Did she mention a Bobby Witherspoon to you? Yeah, yeah, of course she did, but I thought that was... What else did she tell you? Uh, uh, that he was a bastard, but I thought that what else? Uh, what that she thought I might have been involved in the accident, but I thought that was an accident. You know what I think? I think you better come downtown and make a formal statement. This circle is complete. Manborn, it is your move. Have you chosen a target? I have. As you can see, I have found the perfect subject for our new process. His record speaks for itself. Yes, well done. Kill him. talking to him. What do you want? Shall we continue? Hey, I just spent my whole evening at the police station because of you. Ooh. Hey. Hey, now. That's not, that's not loaded, is it? Gee, I don't know. I found it in your closet. Oh. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> Come on, give it here. Stand back, I'll shoot. But it's not loaded. Hand it over. I'm warning you, I'll shoot. Oh. I'll shoot. Well, go ahead. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, Why are you all right? Oh. Oh. How can I be all right? You just shot me in the arm. You said go ahead. I didn't mean it. Well, you sounded like you meant it. I didn't know it was loaded. Well, neither did I. You are insane. Do you have any bandages? Yeah, in the bathroom. He said you were dangerous. I said, her, huh? Jesus. Jesus. I should have listened to you. I should have listened. It's only a scratch. A scratch made by a bullet. 
What do you want from me? I told you there's no computer cloud. Well, maybe I don't believe you. Well, there isn't. Oh! Don't be such a baby. A baby? You're gonna kill me! Well, I didn't. I barely hit you. Oh, with a bullet, you either hit me or you didn't hit me. Oh, that's too tight. Ow! Oh! What do you want? I want to finish bandaging you if you'll stop whining. I'm not whining. Now, will you leave? Not till I have what I came for. What? What? What do you want? I'll get it for you. What? I don't know yet. Stay here. Your neighbor's reported hearing a gunshot. She's in the bathroom. Where? And what happened to your arm? She shot me. That's what. She was right here. Aren't you going to chase her? A bird in the hand. Oh, you don't mean me. No, but I don't know anything. Yeah, that's why you teach instead of making an honest living. Hey, I've already told you everything I know. Put a shirt on. She came there asking about your computer club. There is no computer club. Then why did she ask about it? Be because she's crazy. I don't know. Why are you trying to protect her, Hobson? She's already killed her husband. No, I think you're jumping to conclusions. Jumping to conclusions? A fried corpse in a burned out car? Clever, but not original. Even a fire is not going to hide a shotgun blast to the face. Add to that tape recording of the actual murder. What tape recording? A friend of Bobby's had his answering machine on last night. Frank, shit, why aren't you home? You gotta help me. Amy's going nuts. There's, there's no telling what she might. Amy? Amy, no! That's Bobby's voice, but it still is approved. Did you know that Amy signed a check for the first payment on a life insurance policy on Bobby last week? No, of course I didn't know that. What's your cut, Hobson? I don't have to do this. Ow! I'm just trying to give you a break. Now, once more, nicely. Where do you know Amy Witherspoon from? I don't know her. Why did she come to your office? I don't know. Why did she shoot you? Because I told her to, I guess. Remember, I'm going to be watching you, Hobson. Yeah, you'll be watching me sleep. Ah, it's cold! Oh, sorry. I must have used all the hot water when I got up this morning. What are you doing here? I couldn't go home. Well, look, I'm not about to get involved in any of this. It's wet. Why are you terrorizing me? What do you want? Some breakfast. How about you? I just want sleep. 
Or maybe some coffee. Sorry, last cup. Listen, we need to get out of here as soon as we eat. I don't think it's safe. I don't think you're safe. I'm not going anywhere. Are we going to have to do this again? Two eggs over easy. That's a good boy. Now, why don't you take a look at this? What is it? It's a floppy disk. Even I know that. I'll rephrase. Where did you get it? I found it last night in Bobby's office. Bobby cleaned out his office. I saw him. Somebody cleaned out his office, all right. This was stuck. Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. Why wouldn't I trust you? I've known you for almost 18 hours now. And in that time, you've broken into my house. You shot me with my own gun. You made me the prime suspect in a murder case I know nothing about. Why wouldn't I trust you? I didn't kill Bobby. Someone is trying to make it look like I did. You're doing a pretty good job. Look, do you want to help me or not? Frankly, no. Well, you don't have any choice. I have a gun and you don't. Good point. I didn't know I had a clean pair of underwear around here. So. I, I didn't know it was your last clean pair. I didn't kill Bobby. I have a tape. Bowley played it for me. <sighs> and you believed him? Well, no. What about that insurance policy? That was Bobby's idea. He never thought about me before. I bet he knew he was in trouble. Look, I don't care whether you believe me or not. You're gonna help me. You've got to help me. Okay, okay, I'm helping. I'm helping. Did somebody say something about breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast. What are you doing? No, I need the telephone. Oh, no, you don't. For the disk. It has access instructions, but I need the telephone to access the master terminal. And the disk won't tell us anything without the telephone. Well, what about these? Jesus, they're still raw. Look, I can't let you go in there alone with the telephone. Trust is a two-way street, you know. So is mistrust. Damn code. Looks so simple for a while, and then bam, nothing. I don't get it. Me neither. I almost got through once. Looks like some kind of a game or something. A game? It's a beautiful piece of work. I just don't understand what could be causing it to... Damn! My life is passing before my eyes. And you're playing a video game. Oh. This is so strange. It's like somebody's jamming my game, signal. Game, huh? This was my last chance. Why would anybody want to jam my signal? He was so protective of those stupid discs. I just knew this was going to tell us something. somebody monitoring that master terminal. It looks like a game, right? But somebody is preventing me from gaining access. Why? Maybe you need to put in another quarter. 
Maybe it's something illegal. And maybe Bobby was onto them too, and maybe they had to kill him. And maybe you watch too much television. I thought you wanted my help. I do. I do. Uh, maybe you're right. Oh, but you don't think I am. I didn't say that. Try it again. You don't have to patronize me. Will you shut up and try it again? Okay. But don't patronize me. Weren't you going to do that? The government. You worked for Uncle Sam? I didn't say which government. Uh, what's the problem, officer? May I see your license, please? Uh, nice day for a drive. You want to step out of the car, sir? Uh, well, well, no, not particularly. It's, uh, it's pretty cold out there. We're in kind of a hurry. Get out of the car. You better do what he says. Don't ask me, she kidnapped me out of the shower. Look, if I were you, I'd go catch her. Stay right here. I have the wrong house. Wait! That guy in the car. Call the police. He's trying to kill me. Uh, uh, maybe I got the wrong guy. Uh, well, hey, thanks for your help. 
Funny man, bully. I got a report on more gunfire over here. I kind of thought you might be dead. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It took you long enough to get here. Yeah, all the message got screwed up in the computer somehow. Hey, 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 the back door is open. You want to tell me what happened? Yeah, sure, I'll tell you. But you won't believe me. The next thing I know, some guy's kicking in the back door. What guy? I don't know what guy. Well, anyway, we dive out the window. And then there's two more of them out there. Come on, we got away. Where's Amy? Where's Amy? I don't know. 
I think you better get dressed and come downtown with me. I'll send some boys over to look around. Uh, I gotta get some sleep. Sleep tomorrow. I gotta get some clothes. Just tell Bowie I don't know anything. Oh, well, uh, I'll tell him I never saw him before. My, you got a phone? I'm not a killer. Anybody believe that? That's it. The nice guy defense. I'm too nice a guy. Why would I want to kill anybody? Austin, I want to get some men down here. And I need a phone. Do you believe me? Oh, even I don't believe me. Hobson? Chefalera. Slow. Say, my seat. You got dressed, sort of. I can explain. Yeah, get up and get oh. so warm. Can we do this inside? It's really cold out here. Now, you're going to be inside oh. soon enough. No ID, huh? Look, would it help if I told you I'm a professor here? No. no I didn't think so. Amy! Old trick. Hold it, Flatfoot. Flatfoot? Go ahead. Make my day. Get us gone. Are you sure? This is serious. So am I. Get his gun. She told me to. Hey. OK, his keys. Get his keys. Okay, Scarface, what now? Well, I don't know. Great idea. Great. Trust me. In here. Right over here! What? It's time! Over here! Where's the president? Oh, okay, wait. Um, now would you do something with this? Ah! <laughs> Say, how did you find me anyway? Well, I didn't mean to. I came back up here to try that disc thing. You mean you've got it with you? Well, I'd have to, wouldn't I, Pilgrim? <clears throat> I think you better let me hold the guns. Well, which one do you want? Both of them. You still don't trust me. Uh, now, it's not a matter of trust. Look, you just worry about the computer stuff, and I'll take care of the hardware. What? This is useless. You, you can't fold a floppy disk. But we'll just flatten it out. 
can't flatten it out. It's ruined. You give up too easy. There must be a way to make... Get down! What are we doing, Gil? How long do we have to stay like this? Until something happens. <sighs> this is stupid. Hey! Come on, let's get him! What do you got? Oh, well, probably nothing. Anderson called in and said he was going to get some coffee in the computer science building. Must have big cups in that machine. Yeah. What's the matter, sir? Think there might be trouble? Rex? Bastard. I'll find you. You hear that? Let's go. loose around here. Like that? Way out of here. Oh, 
why don't we just go find Bowley? If we tell him what we found out, maybe, maybe he'll help us out. Help us to the gallows, you mean? Will you shut up and help me find a way out of here? I have the gun now. I found it where you dropped it. And I say, we go tell Bowley. We turn ourselves in. He is bound to think we're innocent. Bound to. I don't care what you say. I have the gun now. Remember? Rex. It's not loaded. Sure. No. You have to do what I say. Oh. No, you cut the bunch of stuff and help me find a way out of here. Just first. They caught us! This is the car. What? This is the car, the guy that was chasing us. Get it, come on. You'd stop saying that. Oh, duck! Hey! We gotta get to a computer. Oh. My brother used to lock me out of the house when I was a kid. Ah, uh, I don't suppose you can get through that lock. He's okay. This situation is really getting out of hand, Bowley. Someone just set off the alarm in data processing. I'm really beginning to hate these things. What's the matter? The car's not registered. I suppose that figures. Oh, insurance! What? But they have insurance. Damn. Everything's been cleared out of here. Look, where else would it be listed? Uh, tickets. No, I've already tried that. Uh, we have got to get out of here. All right, where's your car? I ran out of gas. Check the credit cards. Oh, uh... Hurry, hurry. Got it. John Brown. Who's John Brown? Oh, my God, somebody's coming. Come on, come on.
Hobson Witherspoon, wait. Come on, boys. Give me that. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. We must not lose our heads. Our targets have escaped once more, but we should not worry. They rely heavily on the element of luck. We are fortified with logic. We will be victorious. Uh, I think I could kill the policeman. That is unfortunate. Manborn killed two others for no reason. It is still my turn. I made a good play. We are not playing games anymore. You are jealous by high point score. I must agree with Moda. I demand that we ask the master process. This is not the time. Not one of us will be safe until our targets have been... Perhaps the game should be abandoned. Impossible. I think that you've turned may be correct. It is too late to quit, you coward. Please, we must work together. And for Christ's sake, if you had to steal a car, why'd it have to be a police car? There were lots of them. They won't miss just one. Hey, I know this house. I picked Bobby up here before. Is Teresa here? No. John! Who are you people? John! I'm sorry to bother you. I'm a professor at the local state. Never College. mind that. Where's Teresa? Don't tell them. She's at a meeting of their computer club. Oh, there is no computer club. Where's her room? Don't tell them! You can't intimidate us. It's upstairs. There. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> come on, come on. Why can't we trace them? Well, I'm trying. These guys are hooked into every computer on Earth, I think. You're a liar. Teresa would never do anything illegal. <sighs> can you hurry? Well, I've got the 555 prefix. I just can't find the other four numbers. Fascinating. I have never understood how these darn things work. Yeah, well, I'm beginning to hate them myself. Wouldn't 555 be a camp's extension? Yeah, they're definitely on campus. The only question is where. Fascinating. I ought to... You ought to what? Kill me? You're going to anyway. I know who you are. I heard about the two of you on the 6 o'clock news. She called the police. Oh, I Mark. guess we better go. We, yeah, we have... I'm uh, real sorry yes. if we were a big bother or anything. Oh, then. I gotta go. Drive safely. Oh, this baby really flies! Oh, stop! Oh! What? You forgot to say, hold on. Look, we gotta get rid of this car. But we need it. We have to find another computer. No, no more computers. But we have got to trace. No! Them. And no more guns. Let's just think. You're not going after it? Why? It wasn't loaded. They must be at the school somewhere. Yeah. Thank you. 
So that's what these places look like. Uh, uh, would you mind um, uh, turning around for a second? Sure. No big thing. I've seen it. Sorry, Abbott. Here you go. You probably think I'm Rex Hobson. What is this place? I don't know. I found it the same way you did. Only nobody was here to catch me. Tunnels run under every building on campus, but they don't usually allow too many people down here. Jesus, where are we going? Where are we? Oh, I see. It doesn't really matter where we stay or we go. No, I just like to keep moving. Well, I like it when I'm sleeping. So... Do you trust me now? Trust is the word. Phone lines. 
What? Phone lines. That's why I couldn't trace them. They're tapped straight into the phone lines down here. Come on. Where are we going? We are going to follow these phone lines until we find the bastards. Can you get us in there? I don't know. I'm good, but I... Boy, you are good. I really hate these things! Watch out! Go! Go! Get down! Get down! Oh, shit! My computer! Defense rests. Kill him. Kill him. But we don't know if he's guilty. Bobby. Bobby, wait. What should we do now? 
What do you think? Ask the computers. We can't. We can't ask the computers. I don't think I want to play anymore. Me either. My mom's gonna kill me. It was their idea! I didn't do anything! Then you'd better catch them before they blame you. If they get to the police first, they're gonna pin it on you. Come on! Well, let's get them. Here. I think I found a way out. Okay, my patience is oh, just so about here. I can't I've explain. Just, okay. I'm not only really bad, oh. I'm pissed. Okay, I want your name. Oh. Imagine Foley, Foley, Foley. Okay, I want your name. Foley, come, come with me. Explain. Come with Foley. me. Foley. Okay, come. Foley. I just want to show you something. George. Take the mask off. Bobby? But I thought Bobby was dead. And you knew all along we were innocent. Yeah, I knew that since yesterday. But hunting's always easier when you got good bait. Look, Amy, uh, I know it looks bad. I know what you're thinking, but just give me a chance to explain, okay? Shut up, Bobby. Interesting. Interesting. Um, you probably have to. Well, sure, and you need... Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. uh, well, I guess this is goodbye. There's nothing holding us together. Well, there isn't. No. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, um... Uh. <laughs> <laughs>